benefits, negatives of converting garage into a sunroom. Kind of what's the process for that? Is that something that is worth doing? Can that be harmful when it comes to reselling? Is it something that can be changed back at some point? I think there's a lot of people just, there was a lot of questions that came along with it. Yeah, it's a very good question. And depending on where you live, this is super, super common. For most people's lifestyle, that space is more valuable as living space or an extra living room or a sunroom or whatever the case is than storage for the vehicle because it's only one anyway. This is very common on lower square footage homes because it's the easiest way to get more square footage interior to the home. If you were to just like knock out a back wall and go 100% new square footage, you're pouring concrete, you're building walls, you're tying in a new roof. For you to go, okay, oh, I've got a 20 by 20 or 22 by 22, something around 400 square feet that's already attached to my house. It's already under a roof. There's three walls, if not three and a little bit more walls already there. What would it take for me to make that an interior room? Now, the answer is probably more than you think to make it a true equal comparable value to your main interior square footage. Typically speaking, what happens is this. You close up the wall where the garage doors were, and then you lay down carpet or wood, and you have someone connect the air conditioning into that room. So now it's air conditioned like the rest of the house. While that is very useful, that will never be for resale, which was part of your question, or, or an appraisal for if you're financing it. That will never be, it should never be valued at the same price per square foot as the original construction. And there's a few reasons for that. Will it be more or less? Less. Now, the amount less will depend a little bit on the area, the quality of the work, uh, the, fl the floor plan that kind of results from that now being part of the living space. So for example, let's just say that conversion feels fairly natural in the house. It works well with the floor plan. It's, it's built out really, really well. You might then get 60 to 70% of the price per square foot of the room right next to it that was originally built as part of the interior of the home. Now, there's no exact math science to this, but you might be in the range of 60 or 70% of the original living room, which is at, let's just say, $200 a square foot. Now, this one's at 120 to 140, maybe 150 per foot for that addition, if it's newer and done really well. Now, if it's like, hey, we walled up where the doors were and that's all we did, I mean, you might get like, 20 or 30% of the original square price per square foot. There's a couple of reasons. Garage floors are typically sloped. They're not poured normally with the same thickness of a true foundation that's holding up the main home. Um, they're not, there's no ventilation. So there's no return air. There's no AC and heating vent. There's no plumbing. There's usually not these older homes that are, this is happening more often with. There's not like a lot of electrical GFCI protected, like plumbing related plugs and things like that. So, Typically, the rule is you can do that. You're going to lose value on resale because now you do not have a garage. You're going to gain value because you now have an additional square footage, but the gained square footage will, will be valued at a lower price per foot than the original interior of the home. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. You just need to know all the factors before you do that. And typically it's done not for resale reasons. It's done for lifestyle reasons. Hey, right. this is the most affordable way for us to get another bedroom, another living space and not sell and buy and change schools and all the things. And so this is not a right or wrong question. This is just what is what does it mean? What is what do you need to factor in to make a decision like this? But you can typically convert a garage like that for under twenty thousand dollars. And now you have four hundred additional square feet. If those 400 feet are at $200 per foot, you're obviously saving a lot of money to get that. Now, when you go resell it though, the ROI on that was mostly lifestyle ROI. It's probably not a massive resale bump, but in some areas it's more valuable to have that than to have the garage and other areas, maybe not so much. So that's a case by case uh, local question. 